for us to look at. at um, I'm in just in awe of the universe. I wish that I had an accurate one. What do you guys think of all of those models? I don't even need an accurate one myself, but you know, that's up to each person if they really yeah. need that. It's we're, not- we're we're trying to figure it out, and uh, you know the 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 Gleason's map is the closest to what we observe. Could it be something else? Very possible. But but somebody in the chat mentioned it, and there's a topic we want to talk about. And we've talked about it before, but we're just going to bring it up because there's a bunch of people that don't quite understand how directions could work on a circle map, right? So, like, if you believe the map, if the world map was a rectangle, up is north, down is south, east is right or left, west is right or left, how does that work? How do you end up when you on the bottom? Oh, It sorry. doesn't work. So, on the, on the flat map, on the circle map, we have our magnet at the we can agree that our magnets point towards a magnetic point, right? The North Pole Correct. is magnetic, and that's why magnets point to them, right? Correct. So, yeah. so if we were, let's say all of us were right at the North Pole, and we all had our backs to each other, and we all walked out 10 paces in different opposite directions, all of those directions are south. Correct. Okay. Now that's the same on a globe. Also, if we were all on a globe and we had our back to the center and we all walked away, we're all walking south and we'll end up in Antarctica. On a flat map, it's the same thing. South is, by definition, the opposite direction of north. Okay. So when we okay, good. Yeah. yeah. So go ahead. You want to? I'll, I'll continue, but you go first. <laughs> No, I just have this question about east and west being circles because I still think that people think that's a concept that Flat Earth introduced when it's the way that the world works anyway. Right, that's... and and anyone that doesn't understand that, get a globe, get a ball. Want me to bring up Google up... Earth? Yes, please. Okay. Well, no, no, we, we've seen that. We, I want people to do it with a physical globe. If you're, um, a, let's say, in the United States and you want to head west, you ha- and you, you have to constantly turn to the right to maintain yes. your distance from the North Pole. If you don't, you're going to arc over, you're going to go over the equator, and you're going to end up where? South, South, in Antarctica, right? The only place on a globe that doesn't do that is exactly on the equator, right? Because if you go on the equator, around, and you're going to come right back to where you started from. Nobody here, even the people that don't like the circle map, believe we live on a globe. I get that. But, but here's the... Oh, good. Good. Well, the, something I keep hearing people say, which is just ridiculous, I don't think they're even thinking using their heads, is you would notice if you are um, turning, turning the, the wheel. Right. So yeah. people, think about this. If you took a 30-mile track of freeway, and it was a big circle, 30-mile circle, do you realize that you wouldn't notice that you were turning? You would just be driving on the freeway, and you would right. never notice that you're making a complete circle. And that's on 30 miles. But yet you think that you would notice in a 25-mile uh, 25,000 mile track around the equator that you were moving or not, or that you were turning or not. You would never notice that. Just point that out. <laughs> yeah. Just getting and then, for somebody that's coming, that's not sure about that, that laughs at flat earth in the beginning, or that has never heard of it before. It's just good to show all of these models with the globe model right, so that they right. can say, people just don't know shit. Like they just don't know. So how can you say in depth, right. you know, for sure that, which it's, is and, the and trick, say, which let, is the trick that they say, use. Yeah, let's say we don't know we don't know if it's a circle map or the rectangular map. Well, let, you, you're a globe believer, and I say, well, you know, here's a square map. You go up is north, down is south, and uh, I don't know how they meet. Or we show the circle map. How many people are going to start the, at least getting rid of the ball? Okay, get rid of the ball. That's the idea, and then start researching like we are. We're all looking for for the solution. So, getting back to the going west in the north, you cut to the right. That's the same on a globe, and it's the same on a flat Earth. There's no, there's no argument there other than people that just don't understand that. Okay, so right. you're you're turning on the equator. You don't turn at all, but on a ball south of the equator, you'd have to turn to the left when you're heading west to maintain your your um sure. your lo- right. longitude that maintain <laughs> your direction. But there's been re- I haven't seen it myself, but there Mark Sargent actually uh, interviewed uh, a couple of um of uh, Navy captains, a Navy, you know, pilot ship captains, I guess, uh, that commented that whether they're heading 270 or 90, they always have to correct to the north. That's in the Southern Ocean. That would not be the case. That is some very good evidence 
if we could all experience is try to dead reckon on a big ship where you're not micro adjusting and then go for a couple hours and see if you maintain your heading. Right. So, so, I mean, here, here I'm just drawing a circle so people can see that this is on the globe looking down from the North pole, that this is a circle. So no matter where you're at on this line, you're walking in a circle. So if you're on this line here and you're going east or west, this is a turning circle. It's not a straight line. And it never has been and it never would be. If you were to take a straight line and try and draw from that same part and go east or west, this is 270 west is there. And there's a reason why it's pointing at the equator. That's why the sun rises at the 90 degree mark or and sets at 270. And then if you go here, let me just clear that one, here and go this way, 90 degrees is this way. Okay, so you'll notice that, whoops, 90. Where is it? 90. But that's not something that happens in reality. If you tried to go 90 no. degrees, you wouldn't end up on the equator. You'd end up staying on that latitude line. Well, because each time you moved, the compass readjusts to north. Yeah, readjusts to, right, the, the north readjusts. And again, right. everyone's seen my video, uh, Circumnavigation for Dummies. Do it yourself. Get in a draw map on the table. Get a get a get a circle map. Put a big ass magnet in the middle. Put a boat, you know, a bo uh, uh, a compass down, and move it around. Try to push it west. Try to push it east. Try to push it south. Okay. And so, no, and no plane would ever know that they are banking. That would be you're not such even a small banking. Yeah. Not even banking. You know, unless you're literally a mile from the North Pole trying to go west. Then you'd have to bank. And as we've showed, this makes no difference when you're talking about locally, because if we started here at this mark and we went to 90 degrees, like I said, would be over, let me get out a little bit. There's 90. Okay, so 90 is there. And then if you were to say, but, oh, I thought they were going to stay to this line right here. See that white line? I'm talking about this white line right here. Well, if you took yourself down to a person's perspective, which we can do, we're going to go okay here. So if you went down to this person's perspective, we dropped a person there. There's no way that this person could know the difference between that line and the red line at all. So essentially, they're looking off in this direction, and there might be one line that goes off here, one line that goes off there, but it's on such a local scale, you never notice that. How many? How long would you have to go until and, you notice that change? And, and every time you move one little grid over, you readjust. You don't right. even know that you adjusted. I mean, when you're driving on the road and you do this tiny turn, you right. don't even notice it. I mean, it's, it's unnoticeable. So this red line and this white line, they look identical, until a certain right. distance when they break apart. But from here, let's see how far, that's already six miles right there. So further than you can see on the ground anyway, you would have no idea that you're not looking in the same direction. Now, as we skip pan out, look at that red line break off of the white line. See, that's 90 degrees east. That white line is a circle around the North Pole. And people yeah. can't forget that. I mean, Dave used to give the, the, if you stand at the North Pole and tied a string to it, right? And then yep. walked away however far, 100 miles, 2,000 uh, miles, and started walking east or west, you have to walk in a circle to stay equidistant from the North Pole, which is exactly the, de the definition of these uh, latitude lines. Right. So I don't know why people are still uh, struggling with that one. I hear people well, say all the most time. Most people get it. Most people are getting it, but there's most, still a few I guess. That don't. Some people say that they think the sun doesn't turn. Is that correct? Around the North Pole. When we have people in Norway that will send you. Uh, time-lapse footage of the sun going around you in a circle. Right. And, and, and here in Connecticut in the summer, the sun rise, like way over here, it comes up and over and it, and it goes down off to the right. It's not cutting my sky in half. It's no. going around. And if it but went the, straight, then think of yeah. what shadows would do. Think of what a shadow, all a shadow would do is grow and shrink, grow and shrink because the sun would just move over it, which means as it's far away, you'd have a big shadow. As it got closer to have a small shadow, and then it would grow the other way. How would it not? The reason we have sun clocks is because the sun circles, which is what gives the clock the shadow that you can watch and see what time it is. If the shadow just went like this, think about if a light came by, you'd have a long shadow, no shadow, long shadow going the other way. There would never be any adjustment of that shadow along that line that is the, the uh, sun clock. Is that what it's called? Sundial. Sundial, thank you. And, uh, oh, but not only it. that, I think, you know, crepuscular rays, just the rays of the sun rays through shadows prove that it's, it's a much closer. Uh, so we don't even know what it is. Anybody that yeah. tells you they know what the sun is is full of it. it, 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 it truth uh, truth. The, the shadow lengths also depend on your latitude. Sun's going by, even if it was going straight, depending on your latitude, you, you will see some differences in that. That's something that we, we could experiment with. But part of the reason that it works is because it's curving. 
Yes. Oh, you're saying that it might be straight, but not uh, to everybody. Right. So it's just straight across the sky left. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I don't know about that right. one. Uh, no, but like, like if I'm here, if I got a stick here and the, the, the sun is on the horizon over there, my shadow is nice and long. But as it comes up and over, if it, you know, a straight line, it's going to get higher. It's going to, the shadow is going to come hmm. around. Does, do it those, is going to come around. Do those sundials work on the equator then? No, where is that Indian one? You remember that Indian one that the yogi figured out how it works, and there's the sundials and the moon dials. Oh, I have the, a, I, the one I, on the I wall. A, yeah, the one on the wall. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I don't remember where it is. Forever. Yeah. Right. Okay. I don't think anything else you want to show on the globe. Are we all good? No, that's it. The uh, uh, garbage globe. What? 